because he broke his covenants with them. And that was the phrase they coined. And I heard the Spirit say, the church speaks with forked tongue. It says one thing and does another. Hmm, boing. God forgive us. 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 Forgive us. Forgive us. Forgive us because there's judgment coming on the nation. Judgment coming on the nation because the church is asleep. Just like the book of Judges, it's made itself at home with all the idolatry. Hmm, boing. Hey! Hmm, hey! God help us. God help us. You know what is really encouraging? Is the prayer of Abraham when he was trying to get Lot delivered and he was praying for Sodom and Gomorrah and we are almost becoming another Sodom and Gomorrah with laws we are passing that just spit in the face of God and we need the intercessors to begin to pray God, God, God if you can find ten righteous ten righteous if you can find ten righteous if you can find Lord if you can find, Lord, if you can find ten righteous, will you spare the city? Yes, Lord. Woo! Yes, Lord. Whole debate, whole debate on tithing on the 10th, and people have missed it, missed the revelation of it. And some people don't give because they're free, I don't believe in tithing. And other people give legalistically, and both are in the same boat. One gives legalistically, and one does not give at all. One does not realize the power of the 10th. Ten plagues on Egypt. Bringing judgment, bringing completion. If God can find a tenth of his people, that will lay hold of him, he can turn this nation around. Just like the potter and the clay. Just like the potter and the clay, he can break. What well, he has been molding and remold something brand new. Something brand new for Canada. Something brand new. 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 Not some warmed up meal from yesteryear. We don't want a revival of dead religion. We want a move of God. We want a move of God. We want a move of God that not only changes the culture of the church, but affects the social fabric of the society. It's strange. I've been in parts of America that are called the Bible Belt. And won't even mention the states to protect the guilty. But those states have, well, what we heard today, what we heard today. In one of the states that is a Bible Belt, 90% of the prisoners, according to Peter, come from a religious background. Brought up in church. Something's wrong. 
Something is wrong. Something is wrong. Something is radically wrong. And the people are shouting, look at the king. Look at the beautiful clothes. When the king has got no clothes on, there needs a voice from heaven to say, stop. Stop. Stop! We don't want a revival of religion! We want a move of God! We want a move of the Spirit! We want the presence of the Lord! We want the glory of the Lord to fill the house! Mm, hey. It's strange. You know what blessed me in, in Jeremiah 18? What the Lord said to him, he said, Get up. Go. Then I'll show you. We want to be shown, then get up and go. He said, get up, go down to the potter's house, and there I will declare to you the word of the Lord. And what did he see? He saw a visual. The potter molding the clay. Then making the pot not quite being right and remolding it. And then God spoke to him through the visual. God is releasing Visual in our time. Visual. This is no crazy thing, just the, well, sheep at the front. Well, they're a little bit weird. No, no, this is visual. 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 This is God declaring. And let me tell you, a picture is worth a thousand words. A movie is worth a million. Just in closing, I want to touch on the lion, because that's what really what we're talking about today. We're talking about a lion spirit. A roar. I was in a house group in Illinois a couple of months ago. I was talking about moving in the third heaven and the release of angelic beings. And a guy came up to me with his wife, very ordinary, very ordinary, wasn't bopping up and down, was very, very matter-of-fact. And he said to me, John, I was sitting on a plane, and I, I was reading a book, and I looked out the window, and there on the wing was an angel. And I went back to reading my book. Just matter-of-fact, that's how he said it, just matter-of-fact, as if like it was an everyday occurrence, like it was normal. You know, like you see at Tim Hortons, it was normal to him. He moved in that realm. It was normal to him. It wasn't just something that was super califragilistic. It was normal. Then he said something to me that if I hadn't have been drunk, I couldn't have taken it. He said, John, I have two lions. Two lions come to my house, lay out on the rug, and I take them for walks. And I thought to myself, I thought to myself, you better not tell too many people this story. Or they'll come and take you with the white coats. But I was drunk. I was intoxicated. I was intoxicated, so I just received it. I, I didn't understand it. It didn't fit into my theology. So I just received it, put it on the back boiler. Never reject what you don't understand. Never reject what you don't understand. Just hold on to it like Mary couldn't understand. But she pondered it. I was in another meeting in New York State, a Lutheran meeting. This was a group of Lutherans who you would not expect crazy things. State people. 
But you know what, state people, when they get intoxicated, they all become wild. There is no label. A lady in the prayer line was bent over crying. And I called over to Jean. I said, Jean, come and minister to this lady because I thought that she was, you know, getting right with God or something like that. She was emotional. And I thought, but come over, Jean, minister to this lady. And Jean came over and the lady said something that stirred me. She said, a looper and lady said, I bent over before the Lord and a lion licked me. Yeah. <laughs> That's the truth. She could feel it. Yeah. She could feel the lick of the tongue of the lion on her face. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. 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 What does it mean? What does it mean? What do these things mean? mean don't be like the Pharisees on Jesus first preaching date in the synagogue when it says they were cynical trying to reason it with their natural mind get open to God and ask him to give you a spirit of revelation lions Lions, lions, we've had eagles. Eagles. The last 10 years it's been eagles, eagles. Now it's lions. Everywhere you go, you see lions. Lions are king of the jungle. A lion will take on something bigger than itself. It's the spirit of the lion of Judah. Judah, 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 Judah was the first tribe to go in. The first tribe to go in. Who shall lead? Who shall lead? Judah shall lead. That's what God is doing. It's going to increase. Going to release. It's in scriptures. It's in scriptures. Jesus said the kingdom is taken by the violent, by force. A people God is raising up that are going to shake off their timidity and get rid of the symbolism of the mouse. I had a symbolic. God is just doing things symbolic, symbolic, symbolic. In Washington, D.C., about six months ago, The pastor asked me, he said, John, what are we going to do in the prayer line? Because I don't like just these prayer lines. I don't like these prayer lines that are bless me, bless me, bless me, bless me. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. We want a people to arise and get out of the hospital mentality. Yeah. I've done airplane rides in altar calls. I've had the people line up like on an airplane. There you go. I said, God, what do you want to do? What do you want to do tonight? And he told me, go to the toy shop. I went to the toy shop and sitting on the shelf was a teddy bear. And I heard the spirit say, buy him. And I bought him and I brought him back to the meeting. And even before we got to the prayer line, a black lady on the front row began to hug the teddy bear and to sob. And the pastor told me the next day on the way to the airport, he told me, see that lady, John, last night that grabbed the teddy bear and started to sob? Do you know she collects teddy bears? Yeah. 